Hey guys, I'm Bobby Nuggs. Welcome back to Right Hand Drive, guys. Today, I got a few good things for you if you're in the market for your first right hand drive car. Now, of course, with the current market, prices are definitely going up, but you can still find a few gems out there if you're willing to travel that could be the perfect first right hand drive car. Check out this list. Let me know what you think. A Nissan Gloria for $6,000 really isn't too bad these things can be modified up to be beautiful vip style cars they did offer a few cool sub models like the odd tech and the gran turismo but as long as you can find one in good condition scoop this one up for your first right and drive car the nissan primera uh, generally came with an sr20 na if you can find one of those definitely you'd be in good shape these weren't as popular as a lot of um, the other Nissan cars during this time period, but for a first timer, this will definitely give you a great base to just start doing some modifications and still having the opportunity to fall in love with that whole right hand drive feeling. So if you can find a clean Primera, definitely scoop it. For $8,000, another lesser known Nissan, this one, the Bluebird. These still very cool cars coming with a naturally aspirated SR20 and also available with the Atessa all-wheel drive system that you can find in other notable cars like Nissan GTRs. If you can find one of these for a really good price and you can make solid plans with it, then this could be a good gateway car to having your dream right-hand drive car. The second generation Sephiros can be made pretty cool as you can see here. Um, these all came with a six cylinder uh, engine from the factory and while aftermarket support is probably pretty limited on these, they were also the Nissan Maxima uh, so you can find crossover parts for those. So if you can find one and this is a route you'd want to go, it's got that big boy V6. I absolutely love Honda Beats. I think they're awesome cars, showing that they're selling for six and seven thousand dollars here. If you like Hondas, this is a must get. They don't call it the Mini S2000 for nothing. This thing handles like a go kart. Whenever I'm in Japan, I see all of these modded out, and I just I start looking them up back in the U.S. immediately, or seeing what I can find in Japan. So, if you can get one of these absolutely grab it but remember this is a k car so it's 660 cc's and um, it is a two passenger so keep that in mind when you're considering this car but all that aside if you want a spunky little daily that you can modify they do make turbo kits for these and i've heard it just blows the wheels off them so check it out might be the right car for you the Honda Domani is pretty much considered to be a Civic um, with multiple submodels. They came with uh, single overhead cam motors besides the dual overhead cam SI motor that was a B18 B1. Um, I don't really see these around too too often. Uh, I'm not sure what the production numbers were, but generally they are priced lower than Civics. So if you're looking for one, you might want to try the Domani to try to get a budget uh, price and get ahead on your build. I'd say it's a good first buy. The Honda today is another K car um, with a 660 cc engine. Now these I don't really see over here a ton because they are starting to outlaw K cars in a lot of states, but these can definitely be done upright and talking a um, they do come in four wheel drive and they came in five speed. So coming in four wheel drive is pretty cool if you think about it. I've seen these with turbos on them and they're they're just little rippers. So if you're into the K cars, I definitely think a Honda today could be the car that would get you started. And again, I don't see them a ton, but if you find a clean one, make sure you lock it down and start modifying it. If you're into that K car look and feel. This is it. The Honda Civic, not the Domani, but the actual Honda Civic. Now, these are really awesome cars, of course. Everybody knows the EK9s, the EGs, you know, the EPs, all of these different submodels of the Honda Civic. If you can find a right hand drive Honda Civic in good shape, 
for a good price or even in bad shape for a good price because the aftermarket support on these is second to none. Honda Civics are some of the most popularly modified cars in the world and as you can see they're out there for a good price so if you can find one I definitely recommend grabbing one but do your due diligence because you can get kind of screwed on these easy if you don't know what you're looking for so I say grab the Civic the Honda City is another cool little car that Honda produced not quite a K car coming in at 1296 know, cc's but that 1.2 liter motor in that small frame still feels like it's giving you a little bit of a pull now the aftermarket support on these isn't quite as extensive as some of the past cars on the list as this more was an ec economical car in Japan and not so much of a car that people modified but don't let that discourage you because this thing definitely could be a sweet little ripper if this was going to be your first right hand drive car check one out the JDM Subaru Legacy now for 4500 bucks this is actually a pretty good deal I'm not positive the exact setup on the car but these did come in both all wheel drive and just front wheel drive in Japan so make sure you're paying attention to that they also had the turbo and non turbo motor now if you can find one of these and wagons are your style, shoot, turbo would be a plus. So scoop the legacy if you're a Subaru guy. The GX100 Mark II. Now for $7,000 that one looks really clean, but these cars are very underrated compared to their older brother, the JZX100. However, you can definitely find plenty of aftermarket support and plenty of VIP stylings for vehicles like these. So don't sleep on the GX100. Now, I don't love Suzuki's, but Japan does. And the Wagon R Turbo is definitely one of the bad Suzuki's when it comes to K cars. The aftermarket support for these things is second to none. I'm telling you, the Japanese love these things. So if you can find one that's in good shape, you're going to be able to find the parts to make it the right-hand drive car that you want it to be. Now remember, these things are 660 cc's. I realize not everybody into right-hand drive vehicles is into cars, so I definitely threw in the Pajero Mini. Um, if you know about the Pajeros, these were Mitsubishi's tough little four-wheel drive beaters but this is actually a Pajero Mini and as you can see there is like no room in that cab so if you're one of those overland or off-road guys I would definitely consider the Pajero Mini and see what you can do with it just like this guy did another Subaru on this list in the first of the mini trucks this is a San Mar and these are always considered to just be the bad luck of, of the mini trucks and a lot of people stray away from them but I disagree I think if you can find one that's been maintained these things are going to last just as long as the rest of these on the list. If you're into the mini trucks this is probably the best first vehicle you could get for a right hand drive because the Honda Actis are absolutely the best in the game and that's pretty much across the board so if you can find one of these that's super clean there's a bunch of aftermarket support for them there's a bunch of replacement parts this is probably going to be your best bet as Hondas are traditionally easy to work on so in my mind if you're getting any sort of truck I would absolutely grab the Honda Acti and start doing your thing with it Last but not least, I threw in another off-road slash overlanding vehicle. Now the CRV didn't get as much love as it deserved in the United States, but in Japan they love these things and they take them anywhere and everywhere. You, they jack them up, they tent them out, they do all of the stuff that we do here. So if you're looking for a dope right-hand drive and you're into that stuff, this is definitely the one to get. All right, guys, now that is a great list for a first-time right-hand drive car buyer. It's not packed full of GTRs and Civic Type Rs or anything like that, but those are great base cars to start getting in and start making your plans to get your dream cars. Now, if you want to see more, make sure to follow us at RHDGUIS or rhdguis.com for the podcast you definitely learn more you can learn how to finance some cards like the ones you see behind me but otherwise make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time